Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll show how to set up passwordless login in Authentic. So, stick around. This assumes you already have users created that have WebAuthn set up as their two-factor authentication. Firstly, navigate to your Authentic instance and log in as administrator. Next, you guessed it, click on Admin Interface. Click on Flows and Stages to expand it, and click on Flows. Then click on Create. Give your flow a name that makes sense to you. I'll enter Kuptonian Passwordless Flow for mine, and same for my title. For designation, choose Authentication, and click Create. Now, click on your newly created flow. Click on Stage Bindings. Click Create and Bind Stage. Choose Authenticator Validation Stage. And click Next. Again, give your stage a name that makes sense. I'll enter Kuptonian passwordless web authen. Under device classes, be sure to choose web authen authenticators. The reason per documentation is that passwordless authentication currently only supports web authen devices. Link to this in the description below. Anyways, jumping back, we want to scroll down and for the not configured action, choose your preferred action. For instance, you can flat out deny the user or force them to set up an authenticator, which is what I'm doing. I have user verification must occur under WebAuth and user verification. For configuration stages, depending on your entire setup, either choose the default WebAuth and setup stage or the custom WebAuth and setup stage you've already created, which is what I'm doing here. If you haven't set up a custom one, check out my video here. Then click Next. Change your order number if it makes sense for you to do so. I like increments of 10, so my first order number will be 10 and click Finish. Next, we need to add a login stage. So click on Bind Existing Stage. For Stage, scroll down and again, depending on your configuration, select either Default Login or the custom one you've made, which is what I'm choosing here. Enter an order number higher than what you entered for the previous stage. So for me, I will enter 20. Be sure to evaluate when Flow is Plan is disabled and that Evaluate when Stage is run is enabled and click Create. Click on Flows. Now find and click your main authentication flow that users use to log in. Mine isn't listed so I have to manually search for it. Click on Stage Bindings. Find your identification stage and click Edit Stage. You then want to click and expand flow settings. For passwordless flow, click and choose the passwordless flow created earlier. And click update. Finally, let's log out and test it with one of our users. As you can see, our login page now has a link to use a security key to log in. You can actually right click and copy the link if you want to share the direct link versus having to come to this login page first. The user I'm testing with that has WebAuthn set up as their two-factor authentication is Wally West, so I will just click use a security key. Your user may get a Windows security prompt like this, but just click cancel. Then my browser prompts me to choose the device for which the passkey is registered. I'm testing with an iPhone, so I will choose use a different phone or tablet. Then you'll get a QR code to scan with your phone's camera at which point a prompt will appear on your phone to sign in with a passkey, which then the user would tap and they'll be prompted to authenticate with their biometrics. And once they do, they'll be logged into Authentic, just as you see here. 
You can also dynamically use passwordless login that will skip the password stage based on the user's device. This other method would allow for use of WebAuthn or Duo by implementing policy expressions. Links for these resources are in the description below. Well, that's it for this video. Hopefully some of you find it helpful, and if so, please give it a like and subscribe for any other videos I upload in the future. Thanks for watching.